What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reefing coming back at you with another video. Just wanted to talk about my experience with hydrogen peroxide and dealing with algae on frags. So I don't know if you can see this very well or if you can compare from last time, but you can see those frag plugs. They are crystal clear white, bone white. And I did a hydrogen peroxide dip for them, which went surprisingly well with one caveat and I'll get to that in a bit. If you're gonna jump to the end of the video, just to let you know I don't recommend hydrogen peroxide for most coral. Now I did a hydrogen peroxide dip about mm, two to three days ago, about three days ago, yeah. And I got kind of like a wild hair with uh, the BRS uh, recommending that you could do a hydrogen peroxide dip for like two minutes max to get some of the algae off your frag plugs. And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. So you can see the algae's off the frag plugs, but then you kind of look at some of these coral and you're like, dang, some of these zoas are not all the way open after a couple days. And I kind of dipped the SPS and you can kind of see my SPS wasn't doing too hot. So let's move to the other side and you'll really see the damage done. So for this, Look at those corals, they're completely bleached out. The worst one, the Satosa, you can see I got some uh, starfish on there cleaning up the dead. I mean, you, there might be a hint of red at the base, but man, it did not do well in that dip at all. Even if, when I was doing it for like a minute 30, I had it set for a two minute timer, but I always pulled it out 30 seconds early and it was still not good. And then you can see the shrooms over here. They all shrunk up. So my recommendation, oh well, I also did um, this big blasto and I did get all the algae off that one. Now my recommendation for this is if you are going to do that, let's get it right there. If you're gonna do a dip, I would only dip zoanthids and LPS. I wouldn't dip shrooms, mushrooms, and I wouldn't dip any recordia, and I definitely wouldn't dip any of your expensive coral because mine bleached out any of the SPS type coral. But if you're gonna do some LPS, you might be okay. Zoanthids are definitely gonna be okay, but they're gonna be closed up for a while. And you are definitely gonna kill the algae. But, you know, hindsight is always 2020. I would never do this again. I think that the cons definitely outweigh the pros. I can pick algae off and I can have my little uh, cleanup crew as you can see here. I definitely have one, two, three snails and a, oh, four snails doing some work on here. So they definitely like the algae and they'll clean it up. I was just kind of getting a little bit impatient. I mean, it was just small little strands of some hair algae because I had some in the frag tank. But, yeah, I definitely wouldn't do it again. So my advice to you, I would not use a peroxide dip, a hydrogen peroxide dip. If you could find other ways to manage the algae, I mean, I just did it just for my own fun, but I would definitely have done this differently. I would have gone back. I would have just picked it off and let the, you know, the crabs and the snails do their job instead of kind of rushing it. Like they say in the hobby, nothing good ever happens fast. So those are my thoughts on that. If you guys have different experiences, please let me know. I'd really like to know. The worst part is this is like the last frag of that little coral right there in the middle, the one that's white. That was a beautiful highlighter green and now it's completely dead, completely dead. So I will get over this and then I will hopefully share my experience and probably teach you guys you know, not to do this in the future. But if you got any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll be glad to talk about my experience. If you have different experience, please let me know. But mine so far, SPS, hard no. LPS, yeah, not bad. Shrooms, definitely don't do it. Xanthids, give or take. You'd have to give it some time to bounce back. But I'll see you next time, guys, with another video. And it'll probably be the update to my Brightwell um, Aminos. Unfortunately, I just freaking nuked about half of the corals I was really hoping uh, would 
but I would do really well with the Brightwell. Well, whatever. I know. I got about five corals that didn't get nuked from the peroxide dip, so I'll kind of show you those uh, before and after pictures. But till next time, I'll see you later.